Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to create a wire frame in Figma in 2023. So Figma is a powerful design tool that allows you to create wire frames, prototypes and user interface. So in this tutorial, we'll guide you through the steps to create a wire frames using Figma's initiative interface and powerful features. So let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch it from now till the end so you have full experience. So first, let's start by opening whatever browser we're going to use to follow this tutorial steps with. Here in my case, I'm actually going to use the Brave, and of course, in your case, you can use any other browser that you could possibly have. Once you open that browser, make sure to go to this URL section and simply type figma.com and hit the enter button. And of course, if it's your first time, you'll have to go and log in into your account. But for me, I already logged into my account. So as you can see, I am on my dashboard right away or my home screen. And of course, for you, you'll have to go and log in into your account if you have an account. But if you don't have an account, click on sign up or register or uh, get started and follow the prompt, enter your credentials, and you'll be able uh, to find yourself with this home screen like me. So here, of course, let's just go and create a new design example at the top right corner. You can simply go and click uh, create a new Figma file or new design by clicking on there. Then, of course, you can say take time, some time, of course, or take a moment to familiarize yourself with the Figma interface. Uh, of course, uh, with the panel, it contains, of course, various tools that you have in components and the sections, of course. Uh, so make sure to get used to that and familiarize yourself with it. Of course, here in the middle section, like is the canvas where you will create your uh, wireframe. And on this uh, list panel, of course, you'll find like it contains like various tooling components. And of course, on the right panel, it'll provide like the access to layers and styles and properties. So, of course, uh, let's just begin with like building uh, your fire or sorry, your wireframes by dragging and drop basic shapes from the lift panel or from this top panel panel as you can see so here you'll normally find like your pages and etc so of course you can drag like rectangles square circles and lines to represent different elements in your interface such as buttons text fields images and navigation menu so let me just go and get like as an example some rectangles here of course you can go and even zoom a bit so you can go and create uh, how many you want let me just go and get like a 100% zoom or it just gets it like zoom to fit. Yeah, why not? And here, as you can see, let's just get some rectangulars. Uh, we can go and get like some arrows, some lines. Uh, I don't know. You'll be able to do a lot of stuff. So make sure to go and get whatever you want. Polygons here. And let even just get a line. And of course, for you, you can go and start building your fire or I, I keep saying fire, so your wireframe, however you want. And of course, you can uh, zoom in or zoom out with the minus and plus, or you can simply click on shift plus one, which will zoom to fit uh, your things here. So whenever you get something like, uh, I don't know, not zoomed in, you can simply click on shift and one, and it will be zoomed to fit your uh, fire or your wireframe here. So you can use, as, as I said, rectangular square circles and to represent your different elements of your interface. You can even like, as I said, choose some text uh, 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 options as example or text fields, or you can go and add some buttons if you want to. You can go and add some images as you can see and even a lot of stuff. And of course, make sure to go and arrange and align your the elements of your wireframe to create like a logical flow and visually high hierarch uh, hierarchy for you. And of course, you can even like use the Figma elements and distribution tools to ensure consistency and precision. Of course, you can even go and add like for yourself a pl uh, placeholder uh, text and images. So incorporate placeholder uh, text and images to simulate the content that will eventually populate your interface. You can even like use the uh, Figma text tool to add temporal labels, headings, and body text for your Figmas. You can either like import like placeholders or use Figma built-in image search features to find relevant visuals. You can even like use the Figma prototype features. So take advantage of the Figma prototype uh, prototype pin feature to add interactive uh, of your wireframe so you can link different screen or component together to create a navigable prototype you can even use the figma interface transactions and gestures to simulate their interactions and flows example so 
you can go here to prototype you can show the prototype settings and you can of course go uh, again let's just go to prototype and let's just create a connection as you can see you can go and do that so you can go and even check if everything is working you can go and do this and you can preview on the phone as an example or preview on whatever you want so you'll be able to preview everything in here you'll be able even to change the background so as an example, let's just select here uh, like something, let's just select this and click on show prototype settings and of course just go back to design and here we can like choose this local variables, local styles and we can even export it if you want to. So here of course as I said you can simply go and like not this one, sorry, so of course here and the lots of other stuff than than this so uh, of course you can even like collaborate and gather like some feedback so you can collaborate with others by sharing your reframe from here at the top right corner uh, with teammates like or skate holders you can fig use the figma collaboration features to gather feedbacks and make interaction or based on the inputs of your uh, you receive leverage comments on version history to track changes and maintain a smooth workflow so as an example, click on share and you will be able, as you can see, uh, choose if they can just view or edit and you can see or or you can choose if anyone with the link can view or edit or whatever you choose here or just only people invited to this file. So you can invite people by email and of course you will have to separate them by comma and of course as you can see they will always show the owner here and you can copy link if you want to share it with other people so you can go and do uh, a lot of stuff you can even go and publish it if you want to and of course when you're like your wordframe is ready you can present it to your team or client using the figma presentation mode and this will allow you to showcase your wireframe in a clean and organized manner and of course if needed you can also export your wordframe as an image or pdf for offline use or to share like with non figma users so if you reach this point of this video normally you'll be good so click on share click on publish and as i said once you click on publish you'll have to simply give it a name give it a description you can even get add some tags as you can see you'll be able to add even to 12 tags separated by commas or tabs and preview as file or prototype you can choose whatever suits you you can even go and edit some advanced settings if you want to the advanced settings will normally be like just the support contacts the creators you can even add more creators if it's just not you the comments if you want to allow comments from community members or less people pin comments to specify spots in my file and it'll even allow community members to publish files based on this resource and of course you can even go and give it a custom thumbnail depending on whatever you want let's just give it the some thumbnail example click on publish and you will be good to go so if you reached this point of this video congratulations you've successfully like created the wireframe in figma 2023 by following these steps of course you'll be able to use the figma prototype features and collaborate and gather feedbacks and present and export your wireframe so you can effectively communicate to your designs ideas and concepts and remember to keep your wireframes clean simple and focused on usability so thank you for watching if you like this video make sure to leave a like down below subscribe for our channels for more helpful tutorials like with this one so enjoy your wireframing and figma and i'll see you in the next video